Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Dodderbird. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is the Raddy RF320. This is an AM FM stereo airband weather alert VHF shortwave portable radio with Bluetooth MP3 player and app controlled usage and recording. That's quite a bit. <laughs> um, you can find this on a on sale for $89.99 at Raddy's website. I'll links below. I think there's a coupon code to save you 10%. And I think if you spend over $99, bucks, they give you free shipping as well. So check it out. Um, it'll support the channel. You guys are great. Uh, yeah, there's a lot in this box. So let's take a look. The RF320. Now, you guys are watching my channel. will know I've done a lot of shorts with this radio. And now we're at the full review. So this just a basic box with an illustration on the front. As you can tell, it's fairly thick, and there's a lot that comes in here. So let's show you. So star of the show, we get the radio, yeah. So right now, um, it's on, it's pseudo on, because the app is connected. Show it to you, I got the clock on there, and SD showing it's in there, and it says app. So it's cool, we'll use, we'll use the app in the video, show you how that works. But there is the radio, we get... A little mini screwdriver to get to the battery. It's got a replaceable 18650 flat top in there. Nice. We get this brush to brush the dust between our keys, I guess. That's cool. It's a first to get with a radio. Awesome. We get a antenna. Yes, external antenna for our shortwave reception. Um, clip this one into the antenna, and the other part here goes to a branch or something high up. Uh, it's usually what you want to do for your shortwave, and it really will help. Awesome to have and they give it to you as part of the kit. Also, we get a charging cable, USB to Type-C. Type-C is the modern era. <laughs> you know, I've seen some radios still with mini USB. Amazing. Uh, here we get a pair of headphones. Pretty basic, simple, but if you don't have a pair, now you got one. <laughs> um, and then we get the carry strap. Uh, this uh, is like almost like a harness, kind of cool. Close to these two points right here on the radio. And we get a really cool carrying case to carry everything with it. Our radio, cables, everything. So that's nice. Wow. That's a great little thing to have. And of course we have some manuals which we'll maybe quickly look at. Uh, probably not going to go fully through them. I try to, but it does bog down the video and I want to get to the radio. So, all right. Let's put this aside. We'll quickly look at some of the paperwork and then we'll get started with the radio. Yeah, it's awesome. As you can tell already. Cool stuff. So, uh, the big one is the app software. Everybody has a question about this. So, this is how you do it. If you're wondering, just read that. Boom. It's that simple. Okay. And then it's going to give you access to a lot of different things your phone will be able to do. The big one is direct entry of frequency. That is really nice. So, you have that control since there's no numeric keypad on the front of the radio or the back or anywhere. Um, just going through this real quick here. It also initiates recording. So if you hear a really cool program on AM, shortwave, uh, FM, wherever you're listening to, airband, you can record it with the app. But you got to have the app on and ready to go at a moment's notice to get the record going. I wish the RF320 included a record button, but it does not. Okay, we're done with that brochure. Now we have the main manual, which I'm not going to spend much time on. I'm just going to go to... Pretty much the uh, shortwave section, there you go, how it's segmented. Um, it has a weather alert mode in here, but uh, I'm just going to skip to pretty much where you do some settings. There you go, setting the clock, so people need to know that. Setting the sleep timer. Again, I'm just skimming this one. Usually I do every page, but it just takes too long. Um, and then working the marquee. And then this is a big one a lot of people already get confused with. It has three different light modes. So you have the LCD lights up, the dial light, the main dial lights up, and the back decorative lights light up. There's a certain way to do that. I'll try to show you in the video. And then uh, on the back here, we'll get to the technical parameters. Um, I think this is all pretty self-explanatory. You can hook up to the computer, which is nice. So it can read the files using antennas. 
There's your frequency coverage. Look at that FM, VHF, 30 to 200 megahertz. Nice. Medium wave, short wave coverage. It's 3.2 to 21.9. The full air band coverage. Of course, full weather band coverage. Nice. Weather alert mode is awesome. And I think that's about it. Oh, over here, we got some more. That's right. Uh, current. There you go. Noise ratio. Number of channels stored. Okay, so. And of course, our flat top. It's a lower capacity, but you can always upgrade that. SD card uh, is optional. They don't give you one, but you can use up to 256 gigabytes. Nice. And the weight is 359 grams. Okay, and we are done with this. I believe that is it. And contact. All right, cool. Good to be done that quick with that stuff. So the radio itself. I'm going to zoom on down. Up close and personal. There we are. Yeah, so it kind of rocks here when it's laying flat because of the back design, but no biggie. I'll just hold it here. Uh, dimensions. Uh, we're four inches wide, we're four and a half inches tall, and we have a thickness of two inches. It's a pretty awesome radio. It does so much. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, size comparison. Probably it's a little baby brother. <laughs> the RF uh, 75A. Uh, let's look how little that is compared to it. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny, right? It's like micro. This is app controlled as well. Um, this just uh, adds re removable battery and, of course, sound that kicks <laughs> it really does um, this thing's awesome and of course yeah it's got a cool display but uh yeah look at the difference <laughs> it's, it's amazing this is a cool radio too this is on sale right now for 42 bucks uh at the making of this video so if you're wondering if you go check out right uh the site below use the coupon maybe you can pick up one of these and these who knows it'll pair They're cool all right and of course i usually bring out my other radios i have like a cc pocket am fm weather alert so there you go they pretty much do similar things except this does a few more it's multi-band it's nice having all those different bands to explore it really is uh vhf is fantastic on here uh, i was listening to some firefighters uh, earlier today it was interesting so there you go doing a rescue call so yeah there's your sky wave cc sky wave awesome and of course we always have iron man hanging around here somewhere here he is, Iron Man. He is the man with the master plan. He loves Raddies from China Land. He's the master man. I believe Raddy is China. But uh, they're based in the U.S. as well. They have all their stuff here in the U.S., which is good because you get your stuff fast. That's what we want. We don't want, we don't want the slow boat. We want the fast boat. Fast boat. <laughs> Doesn't focus. Whatever. Okay, cool. Um, so there's a lot to go over here feature-wise. Um these buttons and things and I'll try to go fairly quick with you um, yeah and then we get to turning this thing on uh, maybe I'll try doing that with some of these features so left hand side we have LED light and you turn it on with this little orange button beautiful on off thing of beauty right press and hold does SOS okay flashes white and red nice first time I've done that it's super loud <laughs> Um, our LCD in the front, as you can see, see here, shows uh, when the power's off. We have a time, 12-hour clock or 24-hour battery level indicator. Uh, if the SD card's in, if the app's on and controlled, you can disable the app uh, control by hitting this button here, um, where it shows uh, an X. Uh, hit that, and it'll disengage the app uh, from the radio, which is nice. Why can't there be a record button here somewhere? They could fit it somewhere, I'm sure, right here next to the subband button. That'd have been nice. But, uh, yeah. Here nor there, just my little complaining. Uh, but yeah, when you turn the radio on, let's uh, turn it on here. So power it on. It has a little marquee thing going. So I got to turn this down. There you go. So you're greeted with the frequency, um, the band you're on, signal strength right there on top, uh, and a few extra things when you're in different modes. So yeah, really cool. So NFM right now. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave it on down. Here's our speaker jams two inch. Uh, it's pretty amazing. It's got this bass reflex on the back. Super bass. Yeah. See, it's made in China. I knew it. <laughs> um, and then there's a little QR code there in the back, but we'll go back to there in a second. Um, hope I'm tuning it. I got fine tuning here on the side and coarse tuning on the front. Yeah, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but that's what that is. So this is, yeah, macro tuning. So you can tune really quick. Um, you can turn that off so you don't have to have that on. And I believe when this radio is on, that, that has a light as well. Okay, right now it's 
barely showing up, but uh, yeah, there's a light there. So yeah, you can turn this on. Of course, you can cruise up the band very fast with it. Um, that's great for VHF for sure. Shortwave, you can just fly through the band. Um, that's handy to have. Um, so that's a really cool setup there. We got the sub band button. Sub band is cool. Uh, it cycles, of course. Uh, like if you're on, uh, let's go to VHF. It just cycles the VHF. There you go. It steps through. And of course, if you're on shortwave, let's see if we get the shortwave here. There we are. It goes through different meter bands as you press this. Okay. And when the radio is off, you use the sub band button to access those four different FM band. Uh, you can, there's uh, four FM you know, between 64 to 108, you know, the, the standard, all the different four, and then there's the 9 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz. So you access that with the sub band when the power is off. Pretty simple. Uh, we have the power button here. Of course, you saw it turn it on. Or excuse me, power button's down here. We have the band button here. Time set. Um, of course, band switching bands. If you press and hold, it'll scan and save. Uh, auto scan, save your presets. Uh, that's a handy thing to have. And of course, if you hold this on the weather, band it starts the weather alert mode good to know uh, let's show you that so turn this up here the weather with a temperature of 67 nice once again at O'Hare it was 65 press and hold and now it's scanning all the frequencies for weather alert tone if one comes through it starts I think an alarm and starts playing the radio so right now yeah it's on alert so it's gonna be using the battery uh, if you're at home you can always plug it in so you don't run out of battery power so there you go very cool. Press this again. Exit. Stopped on that channel. You can use subband to change channels too. He's inland, but only go. in the mid 70s near the lake. Southeast wind Very 5 cool. to 10 miles per hour. I'll turn this down. Wednesday night. Awesome. So yeah, we got our lock button. Um, again, there's a lot of features here. I'm just going to mention a few. Uh, so with the lock button. Uh, while it's while the radio is on, um, I'll show you something. So, let's say we're on the FM band here, cruising along with our little side wheel. Uh, let's see if we can get some talk radio or something. If the antenna's down, it's going to be an issue. I don't know if you heard the song. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to hook it up to a little wire. We'll skip for that. You like Touch that it. <laughs> uh, but you can actually hit it once. And it flashes, and that just locks out the side wheel here. You can still use these buttons, but this, this side wheel gets locked out, which is nice because I bumped this one a lot. So if you just want to disengage that while the radio's on, you just quick press that. Um, quick press, turn it off, and if you long press, now it locks out all your buttons. So you can carry it and not worry about bumping and turning things off. Um, so that's nice. All right, so pause play. You can actually mute the radio by holding this. So now we've muted the radio. Long press. So uh, long press again to pause and play uh, when you're on Bluetooth or MP3 player. Uh, that's pretty basic there. Um, this does more. <laughs> I, you know, there's just so many features these do. Um, yeah, okay. It's pretty much okay. It, of course, it does Bluetooth, PC mode, MP3, and auxiliary in. Auxiliary in's right there. So nice. Turn it down. Okay, cool. Now we're going to turn it off. Does a little. Yeah, CW there. Uh, so we have this little uh, light icon on the volume key. So you get volume up, volume down. Of course, the alarm setting. The light setting I wanted to show. Uh, so this is interesting. You just press and hold this. L1 is this light, and it's on. And there's options for it. You can have auto, which runs for five seconds and turns off. And then uh, that's all you have. So it's either on or auto. Okay. If you hit uh, this again while it's flashing, it goes to L2. L2 is this light, which is on or auto. Or off so we're gonna leave it on on and then on the back are these mood lights here you can have them set L3 always on use these up and down arrows to change it whoops if you don't do it fast enough you got to restart that so L1 press it again L2 again L3 you can turn them off so now you don't have them and then you can turn them back on now they're back color changing very cool um, so that's how that works it's very simple uh, just knowing that you have to cycle with using that before it goes away. So press and hold, L1 options, L2 options, and L3 options using the up and down arrows to change them. So that's a big one a lot of people get caught up on.
So we have a step button. Uh, that's it's really cool. Uh, we'll turn the radio back on. Oops. So you can save her on the uh, VHF band. Oops. Yeah. I... Let's go. Yeah. I was on it. Back to VHF. There we are. So you hit the step button. And in conjunction with this, it'll change the flashing. There you go. Now it's flashing. So now we're able to go really quickly through the VHF band. So boom, look how quickly we went up just by doing that. And of course, you can step it down to where it's fine tuning again. So there we are. Now we're fine tuning. Very cool. All right. So that's a very simple thing. And of course, EQ is really nice. Um, let's go to AM band, show you that. For retirement. Our financial planning solutions are designed to help meet the unique needs EQ. of the working men and women Press and of hold. organized labor. Visit us e at megent.com. E2. Services and advisory services offered through Satera Advisors, LLC, member FINRA, SIPC. In this hectic world we live in, the only chance I get to relax so it does change, which is, nice. is when I'm on the Builder's Supply Outlet website. I love grabbing my laptop and checking out the latest deals. Beautiful. Uh, memo button. Again, we're not even through the buttons yet. <laughs> this is crazy, isn't it? Uh, memo, uh, add uh, your memories uh, manually. You, you get 199 per band, so that's quite a bit. AM, FM, air, VHF, shortwave. It's kind of overkill on FM, but there you go. Total of 995. Uh, presets it's pretty amazing so yeah 200 almost 200 in each band um of course setting the alarm um yeah it's just, it's that simple uh this button here this mod is a cool thing so let's turn this back up to their white glove delivery service and get your items changes this exactly where you want it in your home and the disposal Shows of you the highs. materials uh, okay, better make that quality saving signal and strength convenience is what you get and you can turn it off I like it like this. Is my best friend. Your best friends with That's a cool too. Don't be fooled Got the by look. <laughs> sweet, soft, gentle curves. She can we'll be like singing this. lullabies one minute and preparing. Nice. And then I mentioned that you can um, you can also turn the Bluetooth uh, off manually by hitting that button as well. Of course, it has other uh, things it can do. Airband. It's a squelch for Airband, but don't use the squelch on Airband. It's just too strong. You can't adjust it, which is kind of a bummer. Um, and on MP3, it changes the repeat options, uh, repeat all, repeat one, repeat file, repeat random. So that's what that mod key is going to do. You saw what those two do. Power sleep function, very basic. Right inside the radio, we got the fine tuning. We have the headphone experience. It's amazing. You have FM stereo, no low, low, no low level hiss, which is fantastic. I'm going kind of quick here because I want to get to tuning this radio. <laughs> uh, on the FM, expect decent lows, strong mids, uh, moderate highs. Uh, you can change it up with the EQ, which is fantastic. So you'll notice the difference if you're using that and that will change. AM is neutral tone. Of course, you can broaden it a little bit with EQ. Uh, and shortwave, air, VHF, weather, uh, nice overall tone using EQ to help fading signals. And it's similar to Bluetooth and MP3. Uh, and FM is the same as, as those two. Auxiliary in, fantastic. Type C input, uh, I believe when I was charging it, it's one amp in uh, to charge the battery. So it's charging it fairly quickly. Then we have our micro SD card slot. I have one in there right now for the demo. Top, you saw the spectrum lights. We have the hook points for that harness. We have our antenna, which extends 20 inches. On the back with that decorative lighting. RGBs, just because that's all they do is just for looks. Here, I would show you the battery, but it's a pain that it's fiddly door. One screw opens it up. Take the battery out, 18650 flat top. It's 2,000 milliamp hour, pretty basic Chinese battery. You can upgrade it. Here's an LG cell. This is 3,500. You could pop that in instead. So rock on. Just make sure positive is towards the top, negative is towards the bottom. And you put it in by positive first, and then push the negative in. Now it's a tight fit. Take your time. When you take the battery out, you're always taking it out negative first. Okay. So positive down and negative up. Take it out. That's simple. All right, and you saw super bass and the uh, stuff. So, and the bottom has a little rubber feet, so it stands up. A beautiful thing, awesome. So, let's talk about FM reception report. Um, I like the tier five tier method fair, okay, fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. This scored a very good, found 80 stations. 
Uh, that's absolutely amazing. Um, typical radio gets about 50. So I give this a four star rating, a uh, very good on sensitivity, though it took quite a bit. You had to move this radio a lot with that antenna, uh, to get those stations. It took a lot and then very good, uh, selectivity, which is fantastic. Uh, so yeah, uh, daytime AM expect uh, good locals and semi locals as a slow acting AGC automatic gain control on AM. So give it some time. Uh, shortwave is average about a dozen or so stations for me in my area. Uh, daytime air is uh, about the same average performance, similar to my scanner though, my Bearcat, so that's kind of nice. VHF was decent, pretty happy with the VHF performance, and the weather is above average. I found five stations uh, on here with the weather rock on. So let's demo this thing. So we're going to turn it on here, and we're going to use the uh, app. So bringing the app in, we have my phone here. Here we go. So we are going to go ahead and go to Bluetooth, so music mode. So I can do everything remotely with the phone. So I can't wait to Bluetooth. I think I hit that again to get to MP3. Okay, we'll turn it up with the, with the phone to show you that. Duffy's tavern, where the elite meet the Archie the manager speaking. Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. Well, it looks like spring is here. Yeah. The Harold Perry Show. <laughs> there you go. You get an idea. I want to cruise the band. So, uh, first, we're going to go ahead and show you. Um, Let's go to AM band. Attention. So, uh, meanwhile, uh, investigation okay, update on uh, Stephen Smith from their attorney, Eric Bland. So uh, said substantial Elapse. progress in Same reopening the investigation. Unfortunately, the update didn't have many details, but they did have the hint that a grand jury might be impaneled. And uh, they thought that uh, by Labor Day, seven. we'll see some sign of movement and know things publicly. Well, will it be a long summer? Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, I guess uh, when it was ruled a hit and run, there were a number of questions such as... I can see it in her eyes. Mr. Mr. D'Angelo. Yeah. Well, if Jackie had played tonight, Tech would have won. Oh, that's what everybody says. <laughs> oh, there's no use crying over spilt milk. Mr. D'Angelo, if you don't mind... I I'd like to go home. Oh, but the dance. You're going to stay for the dance. Please, I... I can't stay. Clementine. Yeah, that's what I say. Clementine, your name. You know, you got to get used to hearing me say it. 
Okay, so yeah. you get the idea. The recording, the direct entry frequency, uh, that's pretty much what we use here. Um, anything else I pretty much would use on the radio. Um, it's very simple that way. Uh, I find that's what I like to do with this. It does show a lot on here. Uh, what band you're on, signal noise ratio um, is showing uh, the model of the radio, what EQ setting you're on, uh, of course, frequency. Uh, it's neat that you can hit record and record AM, shortwave, whatever you want. So beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to take move the phone over here. And we are going to go now runtime, expect about 12 hours on the included battery. You can make it better by, like I said, upgrading it to this and probably getting about 20 hours with the upgraded battery. So I'm going to look for a wire here uh, and hook it up to the antenna mast. We'll go right to shortwave and see if we can pick up anything. And uh, we'll pr pretty much call it there. And then we'll probably do future videos where I'm doing some more of the different bands. So I'm on a subfloor basement. This is a little 12 foot wire hanging to my window blinds just to help out. So let's switch to shortwave. We'll start at the bottom of the band. Let's turn this up. Now you can scan up just by hitting tune. And now it's going to search the band here, uh, the broadcast band. Oh, I think it goes um, not just the sub band, it goes complete through, which is nice. Uh, so when you do a scan, it's scanning completely, not just the sub band area. I'm a fan of that. That's really nice. I wish you could change the color of the screen. That'd be neat. <laughs> So let's see if we pick up anything on the shortwave tonight. Hopefully we do. Um, we had some tough conditions today, uh, during the day. I'm not sure how the evening is going to be. So we'll see if we can't pick up anything here on the lower part of the band. We should be able to. Hopefully something. Let's wait and see what it does, what it can or cannot pick up. Uh, loving, loving the radio a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, again, you could course tune it. You could fine tune it here. I'm just letting it do a slow balance. Wellness balance. and self care doesn't have to be complicated, so keep it simple and take good care. You can change the stepping like I showed you, and you can change so you can go quickly through the shortwave band. Okay, WWV for Collins, Colorado. Um, just to show you, it is 10:31 a.m. A central uh, daylight time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. I know it's pretty late in the video for that, but I thought I'd show you. Awesome. Cuba barely coming in. So that's, yeah. So this shortwave is working pretty good tonight. Great. Glad to see it. it's working nice. Um, and you can save them, of course, by hitting the memo button. Hitting it again to save it um, actually knows that there's a spot filled to go to the next one. That's handy. You don't have to worry about fiddling with these to quickly put it in the right slot. You don't have to worry about overwriting just by tapping that. Now, if you press and hold the band button, it'll overwrite your existing Sorry, presets. Whoa. All right. Recording. And then they're sent off. You're safe now. It says recording on there too. Only to be sent out and like a child being sent out into a like taking a, a, a five or a six year old and turning them loose in the corner of a very busy intersection in the middle of Manhattan saying, okay, go now. Okay, so pretty simple order to go. Uh, here's the airband. We're not going to find the activity on the airband. Again, the it's showing the frequency change here on the phone, which is fantastic. Very cool setup to have the app control. I do like it. I think it's fun. Um, you would use memo here. You go to hit memo and hit your presets and just scan what's there. I don't think I have much in here. I just found a couple earlier today. That was about it. But that's how you do that if you want to scan it properly. And of course, you have your squelch control, um, which I wouldn't use. So don't bother doing that. Okay, so airband, pretty basic. You can have it scan just by uh, you know, press and hold. Let it scan, do its thing, see if it finds anything. Um, again, it's evening, so let's go to uh, weather band. Waves one to two feet. Wednesday night, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Waves 1 to 2 feet. 
Thursday, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots becoming east in the afternoon. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. One Waves sounds the best. One to two feet. Here is the near... Uh, yeah. And so aside from that... Uh... Here's FM. Kind of dispute the result. Stereo it's sounds kind of good. The result. It's like a good transformation. Easily find yourself being drawn into... And of course, you can record any of this. It's fantastic. So we're almost through. Something there to remind me. Okay, we can pause that. Uh, pretty much mute the audio. So that's cool. And then uh, the VHF band. So I did, like I said, some uh, musical memo. It's pretty much my fire frequency in town here. I would just sit here and monitor activity so anything comes up. Uh, that's pretty much all I have, except for some uh, ham radio operators. Don't think I have anything else stored. Okay, it's some kind of digital mode. There we go, so we'll wait here coming in if we have anything on VHF. So, again, you can record that as well with the app. You can record static. What a beautiful thing. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, evening, uh, medium wave. Uh, it's all right. It's let me just quick do that, and then we're time out. where only the violent can. Sp oh, WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, about 800 miles. WHAS, Wave Lake, Kentucky. Slow acting AGC. This is a uh, Denver, Colorado KOA. Nice. So you just wait for that AGC to kick in. Here is uh, WCBS. 750 miles. So it does pretty good at night. It wakes up. During the day, a distant stations require a loop, but otherwise not bad. So we are done. We'll kick it off here. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. This is the Ratty RF320. Final verdict on this bad boy. Is it worth the money? It, it, it really is. Uh, it doesn't have single sideband. I know it doesn't have full shortwave coverage. I know. But it has airband. It has VHF. Um, it's just a fun radio. It looks crazy. And that's what makes it fun. Okay. Everything about it. I love it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, if you're into it, uh, pick one up for this, the fun factor, the crazy factor. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just great. It's solid. It seems to work fantastic. And if you don't mind using a phone next to it for recording, uh, by all means go for it. Um, it works good with my old phone there. Uh, so there you are. Um, two, if you like ratty products, make sure to subscribe to the bell icon and three comment below. What you think about the RF320? Are you picking one up? Do you have one? Let me know. I mean, we'll have a club. <laughs> a special thing in my discord forum uh you come in there and talk about the ratty so awesome all right appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in my next video